here because we have some buildings. Wow, so this is actually really exciting. We got two 2020 L5P Duramaxes that are tuned with five inch straight pipe exhaust. Not every day you get to see two of them side by side. And also on top of that, you don't get to see a GMC version right next to a Chevy version, which is pretty cool. And I'm not gonna lie, these Chevy ones have really grown on me. Uh, leave a comment below which front end you prefer. I was always 100% GMC kind of guy. I've always liked GMC front ends, but man, these Chevrolets, it has to be the high country though, but the 2020 plus Chevys, they have really grown on me. I love the way the, the headlights actually look now. I don't like any other trim level because other, any other trim level has the Chevrolet written on it. It has to have the Chevy bow tie. But one of the things I really like about the high country headlights is the L-shaped LED right here and then the L-shaped LED right there. And whenever you whenever you see this truck just coming down the road and you see the LEDs, ooh, that really looks good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, obviously I love my GMC and I still prefer GMC slightly more. I would say it's 51 to 49, but I gotta say, I used to hate the way these looked, but they've really grown on me and I really wouldn't mind having one of these. Like my next truck might end up being a Chevy. So like I mentioned earlier, basically both trucks are tuned with five inch exhaust. So they're very identical. Only difference might be my truck has the SDT tuning and this one does not. It has some sort of Canadian tune, which I cannot name. However, one of the main differences I wanna talk about in this video is first of all, my truck. If you look under the hood, obviously it's pretty much bone stock. Um, there's no aftermarket components on here. Uh, that's what I mean by bone stock. However, look under the hood here. It's got the intake, intake horn right there, um, driver side intercooler pipe. It also has the passenger side intercooler pipe as well that runs right there to match the powder coat of the suspension looks mint absolutely killer we got the three inch downpipe right there which my truck also does have and we have the reservoir tank so that is the main difference between this truck and that truck they're both tuned with exhaust however this truck does have all the bells and whistles under the hood pun intended one of the things i do want to talk about is does that make any kind of difference in terms of performance or the way the truck sounds. We're gonna be doing a test today. We're, I'm gonna to give you guys uh, a sound comparison between uh, my truck, which doesn't have any kind of uh, piping under the hood, and this truck that does have piping under the hood. I'm back in the truck just because it's really windy outside and I don't wanna be talking and have like all that wind noise just distract you guys because I know it can be really distracting in videos. But I'm in the Chevy right now. We are in the high country. I love the interior on these high countries. I've always liked the way the high countries look. Once you do the intake horn, you are going to be deleting the resonator, which in return does make the turbo whistle a little bit louder. But it's also a really good idea to do your intake horn because it allows you to do your PCV reroute, meaning you're not uh, you're not getting the oil and all the crap dripping down. Uh, it's overall it's going to make your truck just a little bit happier. But this truck does have the intake horn and all the passenger side and the driver side pipes. And in my opinion, I've done the piping on my LOI. And I got to say, when you do your piping under the hood, it does make a pretty good difference in terms of the sound as well as the performance. So let's go over the sound first. My LOI made, my LOI has aftermarket turbo. It's got Ryan's diesel services, 64 millimeter turbo with 10 blade in it. And it already whistled so freaking loud with the four inch exhaust and three inch downpipe. But once I put the piping under the hood, oh my God, it magnified the whistle just so much louder.
whenever you're doing the piping under the hood, not only are you replacing all the plastic and the uh, rubber pieces under the hood, however, most of the times, those piping, those aftermarket piping from the companies have bigger diameters in return allows more airflow to come in. Also because of increase in the airflow, throttle sensitivity is just way better. Depending on the Duramax you have, there are components that are very restrictive from the factory and that's what the aftermarket piping fixes. They increase the volume, they increase the diameter of the pipes, allowing more air to flow, getting rid of that restrictiveness, restrictiveness that you had on factory piping and factory parts. One thing, that, one thing that's popular with LOI is, uh, it, it's one thing that I recommend to everybody is get bigger turbo mouthpiece, aftermarket turbo mouthpiece because the original, the factory turbo mouthpiece is so restrictive, it does allow your truck to overheat because the way the pipe bends, it's not very good, it's not a good design. Just as little as replacing that turbo mouthpiece to a bigger turbo mouthpiece, your throttle sensitivity increases. However, when you do the whole Y bridge, all the goodies under the hood, responsiveness is just way better. That's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get some sound clips of this L5P as well as my L5P and do some comparison. All right, let's take the Chevy, the high country, for a test drive. Right now, there are two things I'm curious about with this truck is one, it does have, it, it is using different tuner than mine. So I'm curious to see how that performs, that tune performs compared to my SDT. But the main part is I just wanna see how much more responsive it is with just all the piping under the hood because on my LOI made a huge difference. So I would assume on the L5Ps it would make a pretty big difference as well. But gosh, the turbo whistle, especially like when it's in the garage or if it's when it's bouncing off the walls, which I'm gonna see if I can drive downtown or some alleyways and get some turbo spool sound clips for you guys. But the turbo sounds absolutely insane on these trucks whenever you do the piping. I mean, it already sounds nasty. Uh, as soon as you straight pipe it but adding that adding all the piping under the hood oh my gosh that extra touch huge difference but enough enough talking let's actually get some all right so right now i'm just in a parking lot we are whoa that turbo whistle it it whistles like it's like an aftermarket whistle or like a bigger upgraded turbo got the back windows open yeah, if you guys like, I don't know if the camera is going to be able to capture this. Left out of here. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's turn today. Of course, I would get stuck behind somebody like that. Wow. Whoa. Wow, that's fun. I think this is the 150. I think this is 150 horsepower tune. Gosh, did you guys hear that turbo spool? The way it just, oh my gosh, that. Wow, that bottom end. That responsiveness. Wow, okay, the throttle, throttle sensitivity is better. I don't know if it's the tuner or if it's the intake, if it's the, uh, the intake horn and all the piping. But so far, the responsiveness is, is greater, and I, I really enjoy driving this. But then again, this truck does have 35s, and my truck's got 37s, so 37s and a, and a five inch lift, so I, I would think that makes a pretty decent difference. But we'll go through downtown North Augusta in South Carolina and see. Wow. 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 Now I'm really curious how this truck would have done before all the piping. Tires are pretty loud, so hopefully it doesn't get in the way of the audio of our exhaust clips. Wow, just listen to that, guys. All right, I'm gonna go turn right in here because we have some buildings. Wow. Yo, I will say, it spools up way quicker. And it's just, wow, it's, uh, okay, this is really fun to drive. It's never a good idea driving somebody else's vehicle that performs, performs better than yours because that's when your wallet shrinks. Uphill. <laughs> Gosh, accelerating in this truck, it is definitely louder than my L5P and also it it absolutely sounds like it's got a bigger aftermarket turbo I don't know how many times I've said it but I just can't believe that this is a stock L5P turbo so excited with this truck that I totally forgot to go over the specs. This truck does have Cognito leveling kit with Fox 2.0 shocks. Here you can see some of the suspension components that have been painted. And the wheels are 24 by 14 American Forces. Looks like it's got some 35 inch tires as well. She sits pretty good. 
Can we just take a moment to admire my truck though? Man, all right, so we got tires, wheels, and lift kit actually ordered. It's on its way. So the plan right now is this week, uh, sometime later this week, my headlights will get painted. I'm also going to be painting the fender flares as well. And then I'm gonna get the mirrors painted. It's gonna be gloss black to match the paint of the truck. We are also going to be replacing this with Boost Auto Parts, fender, fender flare lights. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be what, what's gonna happen on this truck before Daytona. So make sure to stay tuned. Uh, no pun intended, because you know, get it, this truck is tuned. But make sure to hit that subscribe button because Daytona Crunch is about to get real. We have less than two months to get ready for it. We are now back in my truck. And my truck feels a little bit slower than it did just because I got used to that other truck. And granted, the other truck is level than 35s. And this truck's on a five inch lift with two inch key, so seven inch lift and 37s. So yeah, it's a little heavier. All right, y'all let me know the sound difference. What do you guys think about the sound difference? I mean, my truck will get up and go too. It's just not as quick as the other truck. Gosh, now I'm gonna be like going on the Whirly Fabs website and trying to order all that piping for this truck now, which I don't really wanna do just yet, but this is why you don't drive other people's vehicle that has more goodies than yours. Yeah, sounds good. That will conclude for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna grab one of these, make diesel trucks deleted again hats, head over to jwmotorsportsco.com. And once again, every hat that you purchase will include some sort of discount code for the rock lights or the wheel lights. Uh, the discount code can be anywhere from 5% to 50%. So I know show season's coming up, so make sure to go grab a hat. And you can also get some uh, discounts on your rock lights. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace.